Hi everyone, welcome back. I'm so excited that you are here with me today. I have for you some really cool and easy Dollar Tree crafts that you are going to love. We headed to Dollar Tree one morning and let me tell you, I found some beautiful crafting items new to my store, including these wreath bead forms. Now today I'm gonna use them not in wreath forms, so let's get started. I'm going to start with this planked board. This is another one of those new finds that I found at my Dollar Tree. I removed the jute string and I'm just going to give it one coat of Waverly Chalk Paint in the white. I'm just going to do one because I am going to eventually distress it so I'm not looking for full coverage. Once it was dry, it's looking nice and pretty. We are going to use this mesh reusable stencil from A Maker Studio. I've used this in the past. They are wonderful. They are sticky on one side and they work just like a sticker. You press them after you remove the backing from it. And once you had it where you want it, you're just gonna want to use either paint or in this case, I'm gonna use A Maker Studio's gel art ink to stencil it. I'm gonna use the squeegee. And I'm just going to start spreading it. So you just want to spread it and remove any excess as you go. I do have a link down below in the description box. So you can always find these uh, items if you would like to try them. So once I had it nice and stenciled, we're going to remove the top. And look how gorgeous this looks. And it's so easy. All right, so we're going to put that to the side. And we are going to take this wooden love sign that I found at Dollar Tree. They are really cute. They come two in a pack. And I'm going to give it one coat of Waverly Chalk Paint in the Agave Tone. Now I'm going to bring in the board. It's nice and dry. I'm going to distress it as I mentioned earlier. Just going to use my electric sander, distress it a little bit on the middle section and a lot heavier in the edges. And then we're just going to dust it and clean it, making sure it's dust free. I'm going to bring in a couple of, of these hooks that I do get on Amazon and I do have on my Amazon store along with a lot of my favorite Amazon items that you can find the link to in the description box. I'm going to add a couple to the top two inches away from the edge. When I added them, I realized that it split my board because it's not real wood. It's more of an MBF board. I did have to fill it in with some wood filler just to make sure it looks nice and neat, but it is still a strong hold and the board is not too heavy, so it worked out. I'm going to attach the love right onto the bottom right corner of the board just using hot glue. Here is the first bead ring that we're going to use. Oh, this one is gorgeous. It's black. They measure 10 by 10. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up one of the little loops on one end, separate them, and I'm going to thread it through one of the hooks first. Then I'm going to bring it over to the other side and just kind of measure kind of where I want to see the little hanging handle to go to cut it using my wire cutters, and then just curl the one end using my pliers. That way we can hang it on the other side. So simple. I'm gonna use some of this boxwood and I'm just gonna hot glue it to the left side of the board. That way it just fills it in, adds a little bit more texture. And then I'm gonna add a couple of flowers, just these little, little white ones to cover up the glue section. And that's it for this one. It's one of my favorites. I love the background and I love that bead hanging string. Just gorgeous. For the next Dollar Tree hack, I'm going to take this little house board that you can find at Dollar Tree in the character's square aisle. I'm also going to use another one of those reusable stencils from A Maker Studios. This one says Faith, Family, and Freedom. I'm going to cut off the portion that I need and then I'm just going to make sure that it's dust free the surface and attach it right to the center. This time I'm going to use a regular Waverly chalk bin and I'm going to use this stenciling brush to stencil it. I'm just going to thin out the paint on the brush and then just use a circular motion to stencil it. I'm going to remove the stencil and reveal the beautiful design. It's gorgeous. So perfectly placed. All right, so we are going to wash that stencil, remove the paint, and reuse it another time. I got a little bit outside of the stencil, so I'm just going to use some Waverly chalk paint in the ink. Just dry brush it a little bit here and there to cover it up. 
we're going to bring the second set of beads in that this ring i'm going to just kind of fold it in an eight form and then fold it in half this was my first thought on what i want to do i shaped it into a circle and then i realized it's too small it just covers up way too much of the design so i decided to open it up just like did the other one and then i am going to cut off exactly what i need leaving enough space in the center to make sure that you can see the design so i'm just going to cut it once again using my wire cutters i'm going to fold one end into a loop that way i can join the two sides together as they were in the beginning and now i have a smaller circle and then we're just going to shape it as best as we can into a circle and we're just going to attach it using some hot glue friends i would love to connect with you on instagram facebook and pinterest and i have those links down below in the description box you can check them out when you're done watching all right, so now I'm going to bring in some of this green boxwood. I'm just going to hot glue it towards the top of the ring. And again, some of those little white flowers to hide the glue. This is just going to add a nice texture, very farmhouse-like. And then we need something to hang the little house from because I did remove the jute string. I decided to bring in some of this white nautical rope from Dollar Tree. I'm going to do something different. I'm going to hot glue it to the front. Let me know what you think of that. Does it look messy? I kind of like it, but let me know what you think down in the comments. But I love, love the way this one turned out. For the next at Dollar Tree hack, I'm going to take this Love Lives Here wood round sign from Dollar Tree. I'm going to remove everything from it, and I'm going to sand down all the glitter that's on top. You can find these pretty much in every season. This one happens to be in their Valentine's collection. Once I had it nice and sanded, I'm going to dust it off and wipe it really, really well. I'm going to spray adhesive some craft paper. So I'm going to spray it on top. And this craft paper came from a bundle book that I got. And I believe it was Hobby Lobby. And I place it right in the center. And then I'm going to use my rotary cutter to cut off the excess paper. And that way I have a nice smooth edge. To make it even smoother, I am going to sand down those edges using my sanding block from Dollar Tree. And I'm going to do it in a downward motion this is going to make sure that it's going to be even smoother here's the third set of beads that i'm going to use i love this one it has that natural wood color i'm going to use for this one a combination of hot glue and more permanent glue so that i can have a nice strong hold once i had it i'm just going to flip it over and place it right there super cute and so easy all right so then it's time to bring in some greenery this is just a combination a few greeneries that i already had on hand i'm going to start hot gluing it to the top my friends, if you love DIYs just like this in video form, but if you also love the written step-by-step -step form, I do have a blog that I post every single week, and it is linked down below in the description box, so check it out. All right, so I just continue to add some greenery, and then I'm going to add some pink flowers. I think it really complements the design overall of the sign, so I'm just going to add three of them right in the center of all the greenery. Now we need something to hang it from. So I'm gonna use some of this burlap ribbon and I'm just gonna hot glue it to the back. It's kind of thick. I wish I had a thinner one and I guess I could have cut it in half, but I didn't think about it till now. <laughs> so I'm just gonna hot glue it and then I'm also gonna add some uh, duct tape and this is just gonna add more security and it's also kind of just make it a little bit cleaner in the back. And I gotta say, this was one of my favorites. I love the design. And that bead ring around the edge is just so stunning. I love the natural wood color and the colors just complement each other. For the next Dollar Tree hack, I am going to take the leftover beads from both sets, the black and the white ones, just gonna join them together in a little bucket. We are going to use them to make some keychains. I think these are so much fun to make. I'm also gonna use some jute string in the black and the white and a stitching needle. I'm just gonna start threading them. I'm gonna make three of them. One's gonna be black and white and the other ones are gonna be one black and one white. So I'm just gonna thread 14 beads in total and I'm gonna do that again with the white one and the black ones as well. Friends, if you have not visited my Etsy shop, it is always linked down below as well. Check it out, I add items all the time and now spring is coming so new items are gonna come out. So check it out, it is linked down below. All right, so I have all the beads threaded and now it's time to kind of build the keychain. So I wanted to have a little tassel on each one. So I'm gonna show you how I did one. Now these little ring, they are binder rings that you can find at Dollar Tree. You can also use keychain rings, but I just didn't have any on hand and these work out really well. 
I'm going to tie it to the end of each little bead section. And then I'm going to just pull out a whole ton of juice string because we're going to create the tassel. I'm going to use a piece of cardboard to guide me. It's about maybe five inches wide. I'm just going to wrap it around several times. Then I'm going to use one end of the string left over on the keychain. And I'm just going to tie it on one end. I'm going to slide it out and make sure that it is tightened securely. And then I'm going to use another piece of jute string. I'm just going to tie it towards the top of the uh, keychain. You know what I'm talking about. I'm sure you've seen this done before. And I'm just going to secure it with a very simple knot. And then I'm just going to just cut open all the little loops from the tassel. And then I'm going to cut the remainder, like the excess. I just want to cut it to a size that just matches the size of the keychain. I did that with all three of them. And they are so cute. These will be great to sell at craft shows or even to give to family members or friends. I love them. For the next craft, I'm going to take this Target Dollar Spot wreath form. They have these all the time. They're $3 and they usually have them in different types of greenery. I'm going to remove about one third of the greenery from this one, just on one side. And then I'm going to hot glue those ones that I pulled out in between the, the ones that are left. That way it's just going to make it look fuller and just nicer. I'm going to take this Dollar Tree hat and I'm just going to remove everything from it. And then I'm going to start separating some of the strands just like this. And they pull out really easily. Then I'm going to wrap the remaining portion of the wreath form with it. This is going to add texture and just really make it look so pretty. And then it's time to add some flowers. I'm just going to add whatever I have on hand. These are from Dollar Tree. And I'm going to thread them through all the greenery. Just hot gluing it in place. This is going to be a wreath form that's going to look very feminine, very gentle, just very sweet. And then I'm going to add some beads. These are some beads that I already had here at home. They're not leftover from the other projects, but you can certainly use any leftover. And I'm just going to hot glue them right there to the little top. I'm just going to put three of them. Look how cute this looks. I love it. Love it. For the next craft, I'm going to take that stitching needle once again. I'm going to thread through this thick, fluffy white yarn and I'm going to poke it through the center of this basket. This basket is also from Target Dollar Spot and I'm going to start threading it in and out that middle section where it folds. I'm going to make like a triangle kind of look. So I'm going to go all the way around and then once I had it all threaded, I went right back around and made it into a V shape, just like you see there. Then I'm going to take the yarn again. I'm just going to wrap those um, uh, handles that it already had. And I'm just going to do that just to add more color and texture to it. Once I had them in place, I'm going to thread some more of these wooden beads. I'm not going to paint them or anything. Again, these are some that I already had at home, but you can certainly use any leftover from the previous projects if you want. I'm going to make two sets of three and I'm going to thread it back up the two top ones so that I can have the two strings on one end and tie them to the end of one of the handles. I'm going to do the same thing with the other set. This is just going to add a little tassel kind of look. I love the way this basket turned out. It went from cute to very textured and very custom. I love it. But you're going to have to let me know which one is your favorite. I cannot choose. Maybe the first one with the love. I just love them all. But let me know in the comments which one is your favorite. I have another video here for you. Check it out. I'll see you later and have a blessed day. Bye.